You had a, a great season last year and, and showed a lot of flashes of what you want to do uh, out here. One thing that Monty talked about uh, when I met with him this offseason is getting you to develop as a true starting pitcher on this rotation. You feel like you made strides of doing that this summer, or is that something you're prepared to do this fall? Um, I, I didn't get to pitch much this summer because I was dealing with a little hand hand issue, but I uh, definitely think I'm ready to take on that challenge this fall and this spring. And I, uh, He's talked to me much about it, so I'm ready to take those strides for sure. People understand how hard it is to come up to this level and, and try and do both. Do people understand how hard it is to um, try and do both? No, they, they don't. They, uh, they think it's just kind of going through the motions, but it's it's so much more than that. you got to do the same amount of work on both sides. It's not just half hitting, half pitching. Like you have to do a full set of both on both sides. And it's really tough, but I mean, it's, uh, it's something I've been doing my whole life, and I've, I've always been ready for that challenge. For you, pitching-wise, command, control, is that probably the biggest issue? Um, yeah, just I hadn't, I didn't get to get on the mound a lot during the spring, especially in scrimmages. And I mean, I got like an outing here and there, like probably like one inning, two inning. But I just needed time to get out there and get comfortable because in my last outing, I finally got a set game where I was like, all right, I can work on some stuff. And I got to throw five innings and I thought it went really well. Hitting wise, did you notice teams as the year went on started to adjust to you, and um, you had to learn to adjust to them? Yeah, and I think that was the biggest challenge. Um, I mean, I started getting all off speed, and that was something that was a really big challenge for me, but I finally developed a routine that kind of helped me get comfortable in the box against those kind of pitches. You're trying to grow as a pitcher and at the plate. What does that look like on a day-to-day -day basis at practice? How do you split your time up and, and try to develop on both? It's a grind. It's a lot of running back and forth from the bullpen to the field, back to the bullpen, doing arm care, and then you got to go hit BP. You gotta run up for weight so you're not late. So it's a it's a grind, but I uh, I love it. It's fun. Is it gonna be different for you this fall coming out? And you're like one of the older guys because a lot of those veteran guys from last season's team aren't here anymore. Yeah, it's gonna be different. I'm more of a more of a leader by example, but I'm looking forward to taking that role as a vocal leader and uh, trying to push some of these guys so we can have the greatest season we can. Any of these younger guys stand out to you? A bunch of them do. Like Max Sad, Billy Barlow, Rocco Reed. Um, Aries, Aries is really good, David Lewis, a bunch of freshmen that can, I think, can really impact a lot this year, this coming season. You got to spend any time with Will Taylor at all? Have you guys hit the cages or anything like that? Um, me and Will Taylor are actually pretty good buddies. We've uh, we've been friends for a few years, but I, uh, I've seen him around on campus. We talk every now and then, but I mean, he hasn't been here because he's so busy with football, but I mean, I'm, uh, I'm really excited to get in there because he's a really good player. Is it cool to see somebody doing both, <clears throat> playing football in, and awesome. coming out here with you guys? I mean, you're sitting there cheering on the Tigers, and then you see your teammate walk out on the field, and he just goes out there and tears it up. So, I mean, that's awesome. I love it. Anything else for Kaden? Yeah, I'm going to ask you about the 